look at uh, determining roots of a polynomial. So this is where factor theorem comes in. Um, and factor theorem states, um, in order to find factors of a long polynomial like this, you want to plug in x values of b over a. And what are b over a? Um, your b value would be considered, excuse me, b value would be the constant at the very end of the polynomial, and your a value would be the leading coefficient here. Okay, but this B over A, we want to find factors of those values. Okay, now this one here, I can actually common factor the value three out of everything. Mm -hmm. So when I common factor three out, I'm gonna get three three x cubed plus twenty x squared plus uh, eight three. Yeah, and then the last one would be eight forty four. Eight forty four. Yeah, beautiful. Equals zero because it equals zero. This three essentially drops off, and we're left with this. So these are our, our values. So this is our new A and our new B. So we need to find factors of them. And luckily, they've written out a bunch of factors. Factors of 844 are 1, 844, 2, uh, 422, and 4, uh, 211. Great. And then it's technically plus and minus all of these values. OK. Uh, a value, very simple, it's just a value of 3. So we're using 1 and 3 and plus and minus both of these. Okay. So when we go to put these all together, these are our, our B options and these are our A options. Okay. So there's so many B options. In fact, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 2. There are 12 options. Okay. So there's 12 options for 12 or for um, B. And for A, there's 1, 2 times 2, 4. We have four options here. So essentially, when we go to build it, you multiply these two, we've got 48 different options of fractions we can use. And that's because I could use something like positive 211 over um, 1, or I could use positive 211 over negative 1, okay? Or I could use negative 211 over 1, yeah. Or I could use um, positive 211 over negative 1. Or did I do the one right? No, like that. So that's just to show you, with just those two numbers, we're able to build like four different options. So there's tons and tons of options. Once you get those, you would plug them into your equation, and whichever one equals zero, then we use our polynomial or synthetic division to, to solve it.